Brown's new offensive coordinator, Ken Dorsey, talked about how to maximize skill set of a mobile quarterback like Deshaun Watson. Every one of these guys is is so unique. No one's no one's the same same guy. Whether it's you know the the mental uh, you know kind of how they see the game versus how they play the game um, versus kind of just their personality. So everybody's unique in those types of ways. But um, you know some of the things that you you can do uh, you know stays the same. You know their ability to get outside the pocket, create, make plays, uh, third down, extend plays, and and uh, um, and you know put a defense in a bind. Again, every, every one of these guys is, is very different, um, but I think there's things you could take away, you know, whether it's the run game, the zone read game, the RPO game, because all those things, a lot of times you can't necessarily teach them. It's a natural feel that these guys have. And uh, watching Deshaun, he clearly has a great feel for a lot of different aspects of football, uh, whether it's scheme-wise for us, uh, instincts of what he sees on the field in terms of the defense and, and adjusting things. Um, but I think uh, that's the exciting part about working with him is, is getting back to, to the elite level that, uh, that he's he, of who he is. And, and again, Casey, if, um, if Ken Dorsey can get Deshaun Watson back to 20, near 2020, Deshaun Watson, he's not going to be here long. He's going to be a head coach. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, that's a quite a quite a way to ramp yourself out if you can get that kind of production out of Deshaun Watson. Get get him looking like the quarterback of old. And he was talking about it there. And, and mobile quarterbacks, they are different. If you look at the quarterbacks, the mobile quarterbacks he's coached, someone like Cam Newton. I mean, they were literally just doing quarterback sweeps, you know. But if you look how Cam was built, you know, you can see where that would work. Now, someone like Allen's a little closer to Watson. It's a little more instinctual. It's not always called quarterback runs. A lot of times, it's the quarterback seeing what he's seeing and just. You know, kind of, but they both play a little reckless when they do that. I, I, I need they need Watson to tone that down because that's the, the injuries he's had this last this last season was, you know, him taking unnecessary hits. He has to realize when to dive, when to, when to slide down and protect himself. But you can't take that element of his game away because that is what makes him special. To be instinctual and to to see things in a split second, he'll just be able to pull it down and move the chains. You know, so uh, you saw that with Allen. Allen plays a little more YOLO, you know, like he, but he's also a bigger guy. Of, of those three mobile quarterbacks, Watson is the smallest, you know, so there needs to be an emphasis on letting him be himself with his legs, but at the same time minimizing the risk because the Browns cannot afford to suffer another season ending injury this year. Yeah, the, keep him on the field. <laughs> you know, let him be himself, but got to be here for the next game. 